Okay, hello guys, so this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 with the codename is Ginkgo, Snapdragon version. And in this video, I'll show you how to do bypass well. Okay, it means that I will show you how to do an official unlock controller using a free tools. Okay, in the process, I will show you before and after. And you can use this method if you don't want to wait for seven days or you forgot your make con and other stuff. Okay, after it finishes. You can root using your stock ROM or custom ROM because the unlock motor is permanent. And disclaimer okay, this is not for newbie. I will not take any responsibility for your action. Okay, make sure for all the step to avoid any problems. All the file and step I'll provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Okay, hello guys so this is the redmi note 8 and in this video i'll show you how to do instant unlock controller for spawn okay so first thing to do i want to show you that the pawn is still locked and i don't want to wait for seven days okay so let's go to the settings to check the exacting system about pawn hit the mew version five times because we want to enable the developer option to go back then additional settings developer option and you can see right here the point is still locked okay and then go back make sure to enable the om unlock first okay and make sure to remove all emails okay that is the first step and next i want to restart the pawn and boot it into the fast boot boot because I want to show you that the bootloader also still lock the status of the bootloader are still locked in the fast boot mode and now let's open the power shell and let's type some comment okay fast boot get far all okay hey, sorry forgot the t word uh, yeah uh, you can see right here the product is Zinco Redmi Note 8 Snapdragon and where is the bootloader status? Ah uh, okay unlock now. Okay it means that the bootloader has not been unlocked. You can also try another comment if you want to fast boot um device dash info. Uh, sorry. Fast fast boot yes. yeah, you can see right here device unlock pause okay so i just want to show you that it's still not has been locked <clears throat> okay for the next step we need to turn off the pawn okay let's reboot to android and turn off the pawn <clears throat> okay and it also noted you must open the case okay so remove all the case and the screw I will not give tutorial about it you can find on another video you can search how to uh, tear down redmi note 8 okay now for the next step we need to do a uh, test point okay so, so test point means that you must connect the two dots in your motherboard using a pin set or other stuff and then plug usb cable so you're good to go to the download mode okay i'll show you Okay, like this one and then connect the two dots and then plug the issue cable and you also need to welcome the driver okay I'll show you okay so I hope you get the point uh, it's hard to use one hand so i will skip this one make a test point and then uh let's back to the desktop okay now let's open the device manager you will see in the port qualcomm as it's usb key loader 908 and you're good to go okay and the next step is uh we need the qualcomm flash loader we will use this tool this is a free tools 
and we need to flash some file okay we need the file horse and also load firmware the file horse is this file i will also give all the file and load file horse page the pad okay and the firmware okay where is it uh, this one let's copy the folder and load firmware space it okay it will show you lots of partition and when you done just hit the ideal class it will start flashing just wait until it finish you can see right here the process done 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 and usually take about uh one to one or two minutes okay <clears throat> And when it's done, you can we can boot it into the fast boot boot again. Okay, this is a modified firmware. Reboot done, all done. Okay, let's minimize this one. And from here, let's unplug the USB cable. Okay, and maybe you also need to unplug the power source right here and plug it again. That's right. And see right here now the fast boot has changed from the stacks to this uh bunny picture. Okay. Let's put it down. <clears throat> and the next step we're also going to use uh, free tools uh get yeah, this one yeah I'll, I'll, I'll close this one let's open it again they have the unlock tools this is a free tools and you don't have to insert serial number or the stuff this is automatically okay this is official and when it's done loading just hit the login button it will automatically open the facebook page for the developer okay you can close the facebook page okay this is the display i already use it for my other video before now let's go to the xiaomi tab right here <coughs> okay let's find the model okay model is ginkgo enter and let's select the ADL go to the Facebook tab and you can see right here this there is an option unlock controller yeah you just hit it it will start the process okay oh it's done there is an error in here just ignore it and let's open PowerShell Let's check the uh, the bootloader status again. Okay, fast boot. Uh, let's try fast boot device. <clears throat> hey, this is our serial number. Fast boot. We am device info. And you're good to go. Okay. You can see right here our device has been unlocked okay and the next step you can see right here although we are in the facebook mode it's just shown us a blank screen okay this is not broken uh the next step we will fix it okay okay now we are in the download mode again i have uh make it this point and reconnect it to the Qualcomm Kitty Loader 908 and now let's open the key fill again okay hit fire horse use the fire horse before uh, <clears throat> okay this is the modify one and load firmware and it's time load the modify firmware select okay done now it loads all the partition <clears throat> and then let's hit flash Okay, so it will start flashing the 
um, modifier firmware and you should wait until it finishes okay just to be noted you can see right here it's used a different battery because it took me two days okay to figure out that the next step always fail to the, the test point eventually <laughs> i found the problem the problem is the battery so you cannot do EDL mode or download mode if your battery is broken okay so you have to change the battery okay and okay let's wait let's see right here if uh there is a fail process you can ignore it usually it's the user data and system okay should wait and if i forgot i also want to tell you that we should uh, you should install a qualcomm driver okay and you can see right here there is a uh, fail modem customer vendor system and user data you can ignore it this is intended so we will not uh <clears throat> passing all the stuff and save times okay okay then let's open the power shell unplug the usb cable unplug the power source okay so from here i want to go to the fast bit mode okay so now uh, i will turn off the pawn and put it into the fast button again okay i, I just want to show you the Put loader status and also test install the custom recovery. Okay, let's open the port shell and let's check the serial number. Uh, maybe some of you guys want to know is is it still the same or not? Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's still the same serial number. Let's would get for all to check the device name Ginkgo Fastboot OM device info. Uh, sure. Okay. Our bootloader still lock. Ah, uh, sorry. Our bootloader still unlock, and then let's try to flash the custom recovery. Let's open this one and paste it. Uh, shit. Okay. Uh. I want to flash the the orange box. Let's try the orange box. <clears throat> then now let's try to boot it into the custom recovery. I will do it manually. Let's type fast boot space reboot and when the screen restart, just press the form up. Okay, let's try it. And here we go. Now we we are in the custom recovery. And from here you can root your device using a stock ROM or install a custom ROM if you want it. Okay, that's all guys. I hope this helped you. All the file and step I will provide in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comment section. And if you want to support me, you can support me from PayPal and other stuff. Okay, that's all. Take care. See you in the next next video. Assalamualaikum.